Hello everybody and welcome to season 4, episode 4 of the KCCFC TV show. Tonight is a special one because we have two gentlemen that will be lifting the lead on life abroad. That is life in professional football. They have been there, they have seen it and they know what it takes to play at the top level. Tonight, they tell their story. I'm your host, Magero Moses Mwanje is my name. You and I are definitely walking this journey together. And like we told you tonight, we have a special one and we're calling it Settling the Score. Two gentlemen that have played football at the professional level, Alan Okelo, uh, a player that is at Paradu Athletic Club, currently unknown at KCCA Football Club, and Moses Weiswa, former player at Super Sport United in South Africa. Sit down with us tonight to lift the lead on life in professional football. What exactly happens? Also, you get to know uh, why these players maybe return to their, I mean, countries. Most of you have been asking why is it that football players in Uganda do not last out there. You don't know what exactly happens there. We have two gentlemen that have played professional football and tonight they tell us exactly life at professional football. Uh, one of us, that is Patrick Ocheng, sat down with these two and um, they shared their story with him. Have a look. Welcome to KCC AFC TV and uh in today's episode, I'm actually joined by uh, two players, uh, one in the name of Alan Okello and then uh, Moses Weiswa, who are going to be telling us uh, much more about life outside Uganda. We're going to talk about football uh, outside Uganda for the players who have tried to go abroad and try to play some football outside Uganda. So, Alan Okello, welcome to KCCFC TV. Thank you. Thank Together you. with uh, Moses Weiswa. Thank you for hosting us. Yeah, so today uh, we are going to discuss a very hot topic. Yeah. Uh, very many players uh, go outside Uganda. I'm talking about Ugandans yeah. specifically. We have Ugandan players who have actually tried to go and play, people call it pro, going pro, playing pro professional football outside Uganda. But unfortunately, everyone is worried, people get worried because they always don't last a long time outside the country. Yeah. So I want us to focus and have more focus and try to dissect and uh, tell the viewers why is it so. That's why we have two of you here because you, you've gone out, you've come back to Uganda. So the viewers want to know what went wrong, what happened, why didn't you, I wouldn't want to say succeed, but why weren't you out there for a very long time? So I'm going to start with Alan Okello briefly for those watching who maybe do not know before you joined, before you came back to KCCA, which club were you playing for? Uh, I'm still in that club, by the way. Yes. Uh, yes. So I'm just here at KCCA for alone. Uh, everyone knows about that. Yeah. So I'm still uh, uh, I still have a contract with the other club running. It was mm -hmm. called Paradu Athletic Club. Park, you can call it Park in short, <laughs> uh, in Algeria. In Algeria. Yeah. And Moses Weiser. Yeah, I was playing for Super Sport and I didn't extend my contract for the year they had given me because I wanted to come back home. Uh, to, to, talking of, uh, you did extend your contract. How long was the contract to start? With? It was three years plus one. Three extension. years plus one. Yes. So you were there for three years. And you and didn't, I didn't activate the plus one. Yes. Why did you want to come back home? Because you've said uh, you wanted to come back home. Because I felt like I didn't have um, game enough game time and I needed to reset myself proper. So home was the best option. For yeah. Could I say you were homesick? Not homesick because I used to get holidays and I'd be home. But resetting myself means that um, mentally I wasn't in the right position. Mm. Yes. So did the club try to help you get mentally? Okay, before we even uh, go there, what are some of the challenges you faced and felt you needed a reset? Because before you yeah. need a reset, there must be a trail of challenges that you went through yeah. and maybe felt like the team was not helping enough. Or you are also not helping yourself. I wouldn't want to say you weren't helping yourself yeah. as a player, but maybe the people around the team were not helping enough. What are some of the few challenges you faced while at uh, Super Sport? To be frank, uh, the team helped me with all they could because mm -hmm. I remember I went injured, so they treated me 
then I got back to the pitch. But what I say is I didn't have enough game time because the coach had his own way of playing the game, which was kind of different from mine, which couldn't uh, help me like progress. Because if you want to achieve more in football, you have to be on the grass. Okay. So if you ain't playing, then there is no progress. I'll come back to the yeah. coach's style of play and then your style of play as a player. Uh, but Alan Okello, you went to Paradu. First of all, for the viewers, how long was your contract with Paradu? Uh, with Paradu, I signed a five-year contract. Mm -hmm. uh, until now, it's running. I signed in 2020 January. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, did, I came back here for a loan, a one-year loan. So my contract is getting done uh, 20 25 mm. uh, January. Do you hope to go back? Uh, me or Fodi, uh, most of, uh, first of all, the first reason why I came back home is because I want to, like Moses said, uh, you, sometimes you need to feel that you feel yourself again. You know, sometimes when you're away from home, I feel like sometimes, I don't, I wouldn't say that they treat you like that or something. Mm. Like, like they treat you like uh, you play like a uh, you like you just normal players and all that and everything but i would want to say that uh, as a player you need to feel at place at place first you need to put your mind in the place should i say yeah. you and moses wise were play better among the people you feel know you and appreciate. no i uh, know like the fans no no I, that would be wrong. It's not that about, would be wrong. It's because not about the fans. Yeah. It's, it, it's all about mm. acceptance, like yeah. in the team, like to know that Alan has these abilities. Mm. So if you don't get that, then you won't be Alan. Mm. So if you have that for two years, then you have a setback. You won't like be the same Alan O'Kill in the, in the field. So you need to re, like rebrand yourself, like bring good. yourself back. Yeah, yes. like it, it's not good for you to be there when you're you are in the pitch and you feel like you are not the Halan Okello. Mm -hmm. you, are, yeah. you are questioning yourself, you have probabilities about you, you, you have started doubting, doubting so. yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not good it's to be in the pitch. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm but, thinking if Alan Okello is playing at Rugogo, he's going to have the fans who know him, yeah. cheering his name, whether he has had a good or bad game, yeah. they will still give him support. He, uh, which is not the case outside. Because in most cases, like they say, when you're out, yeah. you have actually gone to look for money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pakasa. Yeah. But here in Uganda, you feel much more comfortable, even if you've not had a good game. Mm -hmm. You have the coaches, you understand, you have a day-to-day -day life with, you we okay. are around I'll, I'll try to come in there. No player... <laughs> In football, if you're a top player, that you have a bad game and you feel comfortable about it, mm. even if everyone is celebrating, even if you're in you Uganda, still feel like it doesn't matter. you have to. Do that. Even, even players, if you're in Uganda, that sometimes, even, sometimes no, even if you're in Uganda, no, sometimes no. you doubt yourself and you're like, no, Allah, what are you doing today? Yes, yeah, you, you, seen you understand. After a very awful game, yeah, he's a laughing and having a fun time after the game. That's the difference between maybe, top maybe, players. And yeah, yeah, of course, the average player. But talking yeah. about Ugandan players. Yes, we 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 all Ugandans, <laughs> but we have different goals. You yeah, know? we have different times of uh, different ambitions. You know, because because I'll give you an example. I had an offer in South Africa still, but I said no to it because I felt I'll be going through the same trail. But if it was any other just player, like would me, just I would have gone. There. I would have gone for loan in the team, in a team in, in Algeria. Algeria and all that. But still, you will not feel that you need to recreate yourself you, because you go with a mission there like you go with a the mission there and you be like okay alan you need to be here for two years and then you're doing well and you go to europe and all that so you see mm -hmm. like moses you go to south, south africa and you you be there for two years you get a, a deal in europe and all mm -hmm. that but time comes when that ambition that, that you want is not it's not in the right what mm -hmm. uh the right line you know so you be like no i need to get somewhere where i need mm -hmm. to be on the right line i need to recreate myself get mm -hmm. back to my best form and yeah another opportunity comes mm -hmm. but now it's all about experience you know we have mm -hmm. experienced this and all that so mm -hmm. when we get another opportunity and all you that know. i know we are going to be mentally strong about it we like oh we already went through this and this so because i'm sure if you you're hearing stories about a lot of people being depressed and stuff that's mm -hmm. where it comes from yeah. uh, you are talking of depression the yeah being yes because if you end playing week in week out and you only called when the team is struggling then 
and you 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 expect it to perform at your highest level, then it, it so can't easily happen. You are depressed as a person. Yes, most players are depressed. Trust me. Most people here, away yeah. from home are, dep are depressed. You know, it's not yeah. only that where Ugandans yeah. go away from most home players. and uh, they go and get depressed. Oh, you guys I, get homesick. Um, not homesick. I'm not like homesick. You, you guys, when you go there, the food probably the food. You no, you get used so to that. You, you, you okay. get used to that meal. You blend in. But I will you give you an example. You know yeah, the problem, where I get the problem is when they say Ugandan players come back, there is no, yes, you gave me to play abroad. That's one thing. Because it's my career, right? Yes. When Rashford, uh, no, sorry, when, um, for example, Sancho says I'm going back to Manchester, it's only a problem. But England is his home, home place. Mm -hmm. He's going back, but no one talks about that. But because we see them as stars, he's also yeah. going back to home because he feels that when I'm in England, I'm home, I'll play my best. Like for recently, like recently I heard about, uh, I heard about some player. Uh, I, I think if someone watches Ben, uh, ben Foster's story and mm -hmm. all that, you know his uh, podcast and all that. Mm -hmm. He said, because he has retired, I think he's not playing the Premier yeah, League he anymore. Retired. Yeah, he said in his podcast, it was like, you know, uh, he had a deal for, from Newcastle because this keeper, you know the keeper, second keeper from Newcastle, it's in, he went to United. Yes. Yeah, now he's the second keeper in United. So it, they wanted him as a second keeper for Newcastle. Yeah. 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 So it was like uh, he had a deal to go to Newcastle. But all these things are, they are in England, you know. So he was like, he couldn't go to Newcastle because he's going to go far away from his mm. family and home and all that. Mm. And now it's in his, his time is getting down and all that. So mm. he over... He was emphasizing about him leaving home and going mm -hmm. to Newcastle. So it didn't feel right. He didn't feel right about that and all that. But so at the end of the day, it's where you feel yourself best, which is home. Yes. Yeah, obviously home. But sometimes where whether you go to a club and you're feeling yourself best that yes. way. Yes. You, you, you can't you can't perform. Yes. Now, like, you give an example of David, uh, Dennis Unyango. He feels mm -hmm. himself in what? in South Africa. It's and, like and, the old man for him. And, and if, because uh, I was in super sport, I think that's where Dennis started. Mm -hmm. And if you hear his stories, he also had a lot of suffering in South Africa. Ups and downs. So Dennis is not like us people who play in the front. Age catches up. Should we say like, people are not as resilient? No, as it's Dennis. not about resilience. Was he more resilient? Age catches up to us like, we, we play in the front like uh, number 10, number 11. Mm -hmm. So when you're 30, you won't be playing like you used like to be. Goalkeeper. But a goalkeeper, they can be up to 42. So you also have to put that in mind. So I won't, I won't sit on the bench for two years and mm -hmm. still feel comfortable because I'm earning a lot. That is true. Um, yeah. One of the things that very many players face, uh, even in Europe, apart yeah. from Uganda, mm -hmm. is uh, teams changing coaches. Yeah. This affects a lot of uh, players. They find them when a new coach comes in. Mm -hmm who feels these players do not fit into their style of play, mm. they sell them off. Mm. Our, Alan Okello, when you joined, was it a case for you? Uh, like I, for me, I, yeah. for me, I think everyone knows with the Harab clubs and all that. I think when um, you joined, it was Francisco. Was Charles, Charles, yeah. There. Then, Even when you left. Yeah, in, the, in that period, in that period, uh, for you, you think because I left Francisco Charo, it's the same coach. Uh, I, I I like like all of that. Mm -hmm. But I went through around like ten coaches before. In that period. Yeah, in that time. period before Charo coming back to the club. So Charo, Francisco Charo was there. He's the one who signed you. Then yeah. they brought in other coaches. Then he came back. Yeah, he came back this season, but just for recent, like recently, mm -hmm. last season uh, we had a quite we had a quite good season. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in the first leg. We were the first in the table, but. Mm -hmm. You would, uh, you would, you would ask yourself, and like now, in the second leg, the club changed around four coaches, uh, but in the first leg we had only one coach. The coach left because he had his own ambitions and all that, because the club was doing good, so he had a great deal. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. So another coach came in, so the president was thinking that having those high expectations that we had in the first leg, so when we lose like two to three games, they take him off, we bring in another coach. So. There was a lot of... Uh, so it's mm. also worth noting that the change, the various changes of coaches also yeah. affected your performance, not only you, but, but I think very many club. other players. Yeah. And maybe because for them, Algeria is home, yeah. they cannot they leave. Switch you clubs. Like you had to leave. Yeah. Now, now that brings me to, to Wiseman. Uh, mm. When you joined uh, Supersport, yeah. uh, 
Kaitano mm -hmm. was uh, the head coach. Yes. You left when you were still the head coach. No, when he was gone. He was gone. So yes. that also may have resulted to you leaving Super Sport United. Because yeah. in most cases, I believe, if a coach brings you in mm -hmm. and another comes in, yeah. there is bound to be a lot of changes. Not only in football, even in administration. Yeah. Yeah. When a new boss comes in, there are always very many changes. I would say partly because, you know, I'm a kind of person who makes my decisions like prior to the, to the time, mm. like before my, my extension came in. Mm. A year, like 2021, 20, I decided that um, I'm done with the super sport. I just want to go home before my contract even getting done. Oh, yes, I think there's something you're not saying. Oh, no, no, sometimes. <laughs> no, I'm sometimes telling you. I'm, like, I'm that kind of person. Happens, you know, there's. I, I would. I wouldn't say there's a player at KCC right now not feeling at home and all that because mm. I don't know. You understand? Because these players don't bring out everything. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I feel at home. Okay. I'm at home. You understand? Because me as a person, if you see my story, I was in Sweden. I had a, a professional contract. I was playing in the. I would say it's called Super and Here it's um, big league, close to the like second tier in Sweden. Mm. But I just woke up and said, I'm going, I'm going back home. I need to play for my country. I need to, to play in Uganda. So that's how I do my People things. have different ambitions. You so, are there outside. You're not playing matches and all that. Yeah. So, you, so, you, 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 so, yeah. so yeah, like you're you missing can, to be in the national say, team. You you're a footballer because everyone can be a footballer. Even a cameraman can say I'm a footballer. Yeah, no, but we yeah, footballers, if you want to be a top, top footballer, you have to make the, the hardest decisions for your career. So. Mm. I think you have to take the decisions you ought to make. Why, well, sir? I, you will correct me. Yes. Before you went to Super Sport United, yes. rumors mm. had it that you were to join Super Sport before and the deal did not happen. And then mm. it later came true. Is it true? Because from the rumors I had, yeah. there is a season you are supposed to join Super Sport United yeah. from Vipers and that deal did not go through then it later happened. Is it true? And if it is true, yeah. why did it go through then? Yeah, Supersport came in when uh, we were playing the AFCON qualifiers for the 2019 AFCON. Mm. But I had a deal in Belgium and uh, I had to wait for the AFCON to get like done then I could transfer. So when I got my injury, mm. Supersport was willing to take care of the um, uh, bills and everything and they were willing to give me a good contract. So I had to go to South Africa to get my rehabilitation, then start playing again. Yeah, but prior to signing for Supersport, I, had, I didn't say I refused, but I had made it like my second option. Oh, yes. Uh, Alan Okela, very many players struggle, mostly when you're going into a foreign country that speaks, that is not so good with speaking English. Yeah. Was it a case for you in Algeria? I think I think that uh, that's that's another thing that uh, caused a lot of uh, I think like we say mm -hmm. uh, depression and all that because you're the being yeah. yeah now like for my case uh, mm -hmm. when I just went in uh, Paradu uh, the, the the coach is Portuguese but he mm -hmm. speaks French a uh, little English very little English uh, then uh, there's a time where you're competing with your fellow midfielders assuming midfielders strikers and all mm -hmm. that. So these coaches are giving tactics in, uh, uh, in, French. in French, in Arabic, you in understand. Arabic, you so, so, so just know there are other players in the team that don't speak good French. So Neither they, do they speak English. Uh, you understand. So now they, they translate to them in Arabic. So these players are competing with them. Coaches, the coaches are giving drills to do and all that. So I need to first wait for these players to do this. Then after, I have to see from them then i have to do better than them so you have to first see what they are doing yeah and learn from what they are doing and do better, better than, than them do you. so you understand so the communication is a, is it's also a and you're a second huh? yeah. you're a second yeah, yeah. You have to first learn from your fellow players uh -huh. so you're not so, getting the instructions and really sometimes they don't, they don't tell you the actual drill they just they just go on yeah. with the drills because you already found them they already knew the drill mm. so they will start from there so okay before yeah. That takes us to our next question. But before we go to our next question, I don't know, any Algerian, any Arabic word, you, what is the first word you learned in <laughs> Algeria? <laughs> you know, uh, what you learned? It, I think it's not a good word to say because the first word, the first word people learn is a cast word. You understand, like cursing and, yeah. you know, those things like, 
uh, stupid, all that, you understand? <laughs> so whenever you miss a, a ball, you miss a chance, they say those words, you know. Yeah. So I think it's not good for me to say. <laughs> but obviously to greet is easy. You can say, uh, Assalamu alaikum, you can say, Bonjour, because they use bonjour a lot, French. like in the in French, good morning and all that. But have you tried to teach Maduro some French? <laughs> I think one of these days, <laughs> they have to do a French interview. Yeah, he needs he needs to learn some. You understand? <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. That is Moses Waiswa and Alan Okello. Fantastic interview. And there you get it. Uh, most of you have been asking, why is it that these players do not last out there? Now you have the reason. We'll have the second part of this docu-series next week on Sunday, the same time, 9.30. And you'll get to hear more from these players. We're not done just yet. We'll be taking a break. And when we return, so much, including the KCCFC Fans Gala and also that game next week in the Star Times Uganda Premier League against Express Football Club. Don't move away. All right, welcome back from that break. We'll start off with the breaking news from KCCA Football Club. Now, this is confirmed that um, KCCFC has parted ways with player Jurua Hassan, who has been donning shirt number 32. Now, in a statement that has been released by the football club, reads that KCCFC has parted ways with player Hassan Jurua Alidro over breach of contract. Now, the club would like to thank the player for his service over the years and wish him the best in his future endeavors. The club will not make any further comment on the matter. Now, there you have it, guys. That's the club statement just coming in right now from KCCA Football Club. Hassan Jurua ceases to be a player of KCCA Football Club, and the club will not be making any further comment on the matter. Now, we dive into the yellow corner, and for this particular one, we have the KCCFC Fans Gala uh, we, that will be happening on the 18th of December. Remember, last year's uh, KCCFC Fans Gala was powered by MTN, and um, we all know the winning side or the winning team in terms of everything that, um, that has happened at the KCFC Fans Gala. For this particular one, the, all the teams that are going to be participating in this year's Fans Gala are named after legends. Uh, and these are living legends. We have Team Masiko or Team Charles Baker Masiko. And then we have Team Sam Simba. We have Team Paul Sally and Team John Ross Latigo. All these are living legends for KCCA Football Club. They have played for the club. They have sweated and they have bled, they have wounds, they have everything uh, that, I mean, they have in terms of the game of football. And uh, the teams are named after these guys. So we caught up with the fans and also the fans leaders ahead of this one. I uh, told you the gala will be on the 18th of December. Here are the fans, plus some of the fans leaders, calling you to join their teams ahead of the KCFC fans gala. football club, Adam Segawa. Ngandi team captain wa team Sam Simba kugala again okuba onge na kuzomwe zikumi na monana omwe zikuno ogwa December mtoa lom kisa kuno okubiriza abawagizi ba KCCA football club umwena okusobola kutwega tako muti mnyumba ya team Sam Simba mtu gani okuvu ganiza mugala again okubera o a team Sam Simba tulibanyo evu. Orwenso nganti legend wafe tumujukiri lako kubera nti ya zanyanga omupiro gwaka wowo omupiro gusanyusa omupiro gwokusala abantu nebagwa nabo ekyomba kubiriza mwenna muje tubere mu nyumba mu nyumba ya fea team Sam Simba tuvuganye bulunji ne team zinenda la tusobola kuwangula eh ze wano bategeza nti nga 18 tuina gala ya fea abawagizi ba KCCFC Ede dita andika ku MTN Omondi Stadium ya Rugogo kumali ilisa anga kuminabili Tujia kuwa tumazo kuta andika e Rugogo Inze matobu tomu omogezi waba agizi wa klabu ya KCCFC Mbawa ita okubaa omu kugale eno Eriba onga kuminamunana Tubali inze mwena abana abachala Na buliomwa ya gali za KCCFC virunji Tubali ita mizanyo minji jidia kuwa minji muli muamu pida Okubaka okunduka Mixed release, we are now ready to serve our mother, our mother, and our children. To be honest, it is. Ah, uh, what is the first point now? Because the CFC, to come here, we are not there. We are not going to go there. We are not going to come here. 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 We are not going to Omulundi guno to celebrating our legends ba fabachi aliwo 
tubadde nabo tubasime nga bachi aliwo nga bachi ali batte bana tuva ku maso tuina team nya team sam simbwa iyo team je team ya blue team masiko ye team ya yellow team john los latigo ye team ya green ebimuli bye kampala ne team paul sali ye team ya white so mbaita mwe na mwe na bwagizi bafe muje tubewo muje tutanyuke wamu muje tumaleko mwaka nga tuli wamu nga family ah uh, omlamwa gwa fogwo mwa gwo mwaka guno guli it starts with us chitandika na awe nga gwo mwagizi ne chitoka chisasanira balala twegweko tasanyuka nyo kubalaba a uh, eri nyale dobos chiraga case kenneth eh, captain wa team charles becker masiko 18 december abawagizi mwe namwe namba kunga mwe namwe namu je abebule newe ya muje tugwerewa no philip omondi stadium tuwagire aba ab, namuleta bana tujja kuwa una activities ezenja ulo 18 december mwe namwe namba kunga okuva mutunde byenda ulo muje mberewo abawagizi ba faba lunja ba kccafc tukomyeo na te Team Captain Beatrice Wamune. Chairperson KCCFC Fans Gala. Yes, to Zokuba. It's a Kumina Munana December movie. One of MTN on Monday Stadium, Elugogo. Elugogo. We're going to go to the Kubane annual Fans Gala. Yafe. Era are going to go to the team Zafenya. Uh -huh. Team is only John Ross Latigo. Ebi muli biye kampala. Ebi muli biye kampala. Wali obi da biye ko. Team Charles Becker Masiko, life captain. Seba Mutegela Bagambe. Team Paul Sali Masanda. Sam Simba Mumani. Sam Simba Mumani na ete ba Mumani. So, mwe na tuwele yo, kuru na kuoro, tukwe so mkwole chitiwa. Gabuli Jo MTN yet at the Muchi. Sente MTN everywhere you, you go. Mujia to yet to Nuem. Yes, KCCF fans get what? Your favorite queen captain, she's back again. And I'm calling upon all of you to come on the 18th of December 2020 two at the Omondi Stadium as we are going to be having our fans gala. This time it's going to be bigger and better. We are calling all of you to come and join the best team. That's Team Latigo, the Green Army. So I'm calling upon all of you to come and be part of this biggest gala which is going to take place on that day. Thank you so much. God bless you. Boom, boom, boom. Tawali kuwananya kulala ekisera kituse oluna kulutuse ngadi nga 18 December wano erugogo muje tumanyagande muje tunywe muje tulie gatukende kusamba mipira ejabo benyini nyini bali agent abaji samba ko nga masiko sali latigo ne simbwa abo benyini nyini ebisere ni mwabala banganga mpira bagusamba baguchanga bagula kuta ekisere kituse muje tubarabe ko muje tubasime rudda wa erigogo ndi nga 18 december ukumiriza abo bakizimu na abente me muje abe masaka muje muri kese monna monna abali we mbisere byo mukomeo bananga vibe yetuza kati chiri lugogo obuna kulundu sesa wetuza ya kumanya kana abo bakizimu na monna muje muje omumo mbaraga fu muchaguma Omuvara mucha abumani, guvera gutia, omuvara, omasinte, omuvara. Katia o kusaga nyaku, jaga nyaku, tuna kuke sabu de muje turiye tunywe tukure tutia, gele kuzo mwezi meka, kumi na mona ana wa elgogo di December, tuwe nika sawa meka sawa bini, vai muje kuwe mazo kuata kati, arengoma, aremirere, abachi, mwenye mwenye muje, runda wa elgogo. Well, there you have it from the fans of KCCA Football Club. Most of them are the leaders of those teams that are going to be participating in this year's Fans Gala, plus the fans leaders telling you to join the various clubs that you've had, Team Masiko, Team Sali, Team Latigo, and Team Simba. Well, guys, there are four teams. Please make sure you're in one of them. And on the 18th of December, let's catch up at the MTN Omondi Stadium for the KCCFC Fans Gala. Away from that, we go into the bench camera. Now, KCCFC played Gaddafi Football Club. Just last week, uh, that game was on Tuesday at the MTN Monday Stadium. And now uh, our camera crew had a special 
camera just for the manager of KCC Football Club, Mr. Mole Bioko. So to see what happens on the touchline. Not only Mole Bioko, so plus his technical team. What are the reactions? What exactly do they tell these players? Now, uh, like I told you, they had exclusive and, uh, you know, unlimited access to make sure they get all, they capture all the moments from the manager, that is Mr. Molly Vieco. So now enjoy this because this is stuff that you don't get to see anywhere else, but only on KCCFC TV.
Well, there you have it. That is the manager of KCCFC, Mr. Moli, because on the reactions on the touchline during that game, KCCFC versus Gaddafi Football Club, KCC won that one, and the final score was 2-1, uh, an early goal from Brian Majoga and a goal by Alan Okello in, I think, the 79th minute, with about 11 minutes to go, while the of a goal, I should say, from the youngster, that is Alan Okello. Away from that, we dive into the game week and the upcoming fixture, which is March Day 12 of the Star Times Uganda Premier League, and KCCFC will be hosting Express Football Club. This is the Kampala Derby. This game is going to be on the 9th of December 2022, that is Friday next week. And just to tell you the numbers ahead of this one, that KCCFC and Express in the last 27 games that they have played, KCC has won 10, while Express Football Club have won 4. Uh, both clubs have shared spoils 13 times. KCC have scored 38 goals, while Express Football Club have scored 26 goals. Now points for each club, KCC with 43 points, while Express Football Club with 25 points. Now you get to see that at least KCCFC has got an edge uh, over Express Football Club by the end of this one. Just to look at their former games or their previous games, KCC winning that one 2-0 against Oduparaka Football Club at the Bombo Military Grounds. Uh, that goal from Alan Okello, the penalty, and a player in Shaban Muhammad and Express Football Club losing a home game to Arua Hill at the Betway uh, Mutesa 2 Stadium, that is in Wankulukuku. Uh, you get to say that, uh, you know, this probably should have been Maybe a must win for Express Football Club, looking at the number of players that Arua Hill did not have or field on the day due to suspensions and injuries. But we'll, we'll just put that aside and um, what is on ground or what is in store is the Kampala Derby on the 9th of December, Friday. And um, we caught up with the manager of KCCFC, that is Mr. Mole Viekwaso, and the captain of the team, Benjamin Ochan, together with um, uh, Muhammad Shaban, ahead of this one. To talk about the game, what exactly do they expect as players? Um, I mean, the consistency that the club is trying to get lately because, I mean, you get to see they have won back-to-back -back games. They have won three games away on the bounce without concede, conceding a goal. Now that KCFC is hosting, uh, that is Express Football Club in the Kampala Derby, what exactly do they think? Here is Moli Kwaso, the captain Benjamin Ochan and Muhammad Shaban. I can't say my team has stabilized on winning away games. Uh, it's how we are going to manage each game it's very important uh, we need to plan a lot uh, before our first two games we were a bit uh, uh, arrogant we thought uh, the team is only creativity can change the day but we needed to, to sharpen the or the both transitions attack and defense here we are we are trying now to see that our team gets both shapes and results have started coming express is a big side uh, it's a big game and uh, we respect Express FC, uh, but uh, we also have to concentrate on us. I believe we are going to prepare well and I believe come Friday we will be ready to, to put up a good performance. Uh, this game is now, uh, it has gone, we are now preparing for our next game, which is against Express. Uh, but as a strike, of course, uh, you as uh, yourself, you have to work hard and see that at least uh, you score one goal. An uh, open goal is always opens for you more goals. Uh, of course, uh, today's goal. I think uh, it will open for me ways to score more goals. And uh, as with the strikers, not only me, uh, I know <clears throat> my colleagues will score uh, if they don't put themselves on pressure. You know, if you put yourself on pressure, of course, things will not come. But sometimes if you enter the pitch, you just be calm, goals will come. Well, there you have it. That is the manager and the captain, plus Muhammad Shaban, who scored his first goal, by the way, for KCFC in his second stint at the football club against his former side, and you get to think that maybe that is the goal he needed to kickstart his you know, scoring journey for KCCFC during his second stint. All the best, Muhammad Shaban, and the entire team ahead of March Day 12 against Express Football Club. It's a wrap for this week, but before we sign out, I'll remind you that we have got something called the triple thread, and um, the triple thread is 
the KCCFC home uh, away and the third kit. And these jerseys are going for 135,000 Uganda shillings. And they are being sold at the MTN Mondi Stadium. Now on another day, you would have gotten them at 150,000 Uganda shillings because um, each jersey should have cost 50,000, 50,000. But because uh, we are thinking of our fans that would want to get all the three at a go, they'll be getting them at a discount, and that is 100. 35,000 shillings, and that is called the triple thread. And also to all the university students, undergraduates, you're reminded that all KCCFC home games are free to university students that are doing the undergraduate, or that are undergraduates, let me say that. Now, uh, for the students that are undergraduates, please, you have to uh, show up with your ID, that is your university ID, undergrad ID, and also in the 2022-2023 KCCFC jersey, any of them, whether the white, whether the blue, or the yellow, now, I mean, which better way uh, would you want the club to give back to you, especially the students? Because we feel you're the future fans. It's a wrap from us. Season 4, Episode 4 ends here. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. Let's catch up next week, same time, 9.30 on NBS Sports. Have a good night. <laughs>